A volunteer firefighter is a person who, uh, to, to quote a book that's very near and dear to my heart, it, it says uh, specifically, to give uh, one's life for another is, uh, is the greatest type of love. Uh, I believe a volunteer firefighter uh, isn't necessarily a, a big, brave, macho hero or anything like that. It's generally a person that is willing to uh, give back to their community and uh, step up and help out their neighbors. Being a volunteer is making sure, to me, our community has the best trained and best equipped fire department at all times, 24 hours a day. If they call 911 3 o'clock in the morning, I want our residents to feel assured that somebody's getting out of bed to come address their emergency. Uh, to be a volunteer, I, like I say, I just in, I enjoy doing this to help out others. There's no other reason for it. I'm not in it for fame, nothing like that. I just enjoy helping others. A volunteer firefighter is someone that is willing to give up his time and give up his family's time uh, to try and help someone in the community in their time of need. Quite often when we go out of here, somebody's probably having the worst day of their life. And to go there and deal with that, that takes special people. I've always looked up to firefighters, police, and even the ambulance. And the type of firefighter that becomes a firefighter actually just starts coming around and actually, again, gets that fire in their heart to, to be a firefighter. I've been in the fire department for, I'm going on 31 years this year. Uh, my father's the one that actually got me into the fire department. When I was little, I would go help him fill water or fill swimming pools with water, stuff like that. Several family members were firefighters, and I saw the, the joy that it brought them to help other people. And basically, I just wanted to carry on that tradition. And, uh, you know, hopefully, my, my sons, I have three sons, hopefully, they'll join as well and follow in my footsteps. When I was a teenager, then I joined the fire department and found out it was something that I really liked. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, uh, third generation in this fire department. My, uh, my grandfather was in the fire department, was, was chief at one point, and my great-grandfather was in this fire department. At the time when I joined, my uncle was the fire chief, and uh, again, as I said, positive role model. I wanted to be like him. I, you know, everybody looked up to him. He did a wonderful job, I, and I wanted to take that on and, and do it. My father and my brother were both volunteer firefighters. I think I had a little passion being a junior firefighter because as I grew older, I realized what it meant to give back to the community just like my, my, my brother and my dad did. Uh, we don't get any pay. We're not in it for the pay. It's just the idea of when we come back that we, we tried to help someone. We did the best job we could. Along with the fires and the vehicle accidents, we also respond to things such as uh, animal rescues, natural gas leaks. We do a lot of EMS calls. Traffic control. We actually have to uh, respond to, to river rescues as well. Uh, unfortunately, body recoveries. Flooding emergencies. Carbon monoxide detectors, which is a very, very big deal. Uh, a lot of medic assist. Uh heart attacks, things like that. Searches if someone's missing. We go to wires down, brush fires, water rescues. Pumping basements. Hazardous materials calls. Vehicle accidents, uh, lots of motorcycle accidents. The roads are very curvy and windy. Physical rescues in an elevator. I've even had the cat stuck in the tree call. You know, getting up at two o'clock in the morning just to go out and take a limb off of the road that uh, you know anybody could have could have moved, but that's what we're here for. People call 911 for any, everything, and the firefighters are the first line of defense. Without volunteer, who's who's coming? If your house is on fire. You need, you know, your mom's having a heart attack. Who's coming without a volunteer? Uh, you have to give up a lot of time for um, uh, not just the emergency calls, but the fundraising, uh, the training, the meetings, the work nights, countless hours of training, and and leaving for for fire calls day and night, uh, even birthday parties. That's the, that's the roughest thing for me, is, is to try to balance to be a good dad and to be a good firefighter. When no one else will go, it's the firefighters that they send. Our firefighters respond to fire calls every hour of the night, whether we leave our families at home, at the dinner table, at a sporting event, whatever the case may be, we drop everything that we are doing to help go help someone in their time of need. I cannot give you one good reason why you should become a volunteer firefighter because on, honestly, and everybody that's watching this will know what I'm saying, it's a thankless job. The time spent away from home, uh, spent away from your family, uh, you have to give up a lot of time. If you want to give up all your free time, if you want to work for no pay, 
That's a volunteer firefighter. A volunteer firefighter is a selfless person who expects nothing in return. I sat down last year and figured up uh, over 30 years of being a volunteer in this department, um, I have spent the equivalent of two and a half years working for free. It's a thankless job, but to me and a lot of these guys that are gonna be watching this video, it's the proudest job you can have as a volunteer firefighter. Any time of the day, if we're here, we have kids from the playground, you know, come over and they just want to see the fire trucks. And it's a very, very good feeling that they want to see us and we have an open door, you know, throughout the, the summer and, you know, we show the equipment to the kids, even the parents. What it means to me is just being able to come out when I'm needed and to do the best that I can. And, and to know that we, we give our all for the community. Well, here in Confluence, you, you know pretty much everybody, the local people, and so you really do take joy in helping them when in their time. The best part for me is when we go to the schools and uh, you know we see those kids, we, we have their attention for 40 minutes, and, and really those kids are just captivated by what we're telling them or what we're teaching them. There's several really good things. Uh, number one is being able to go out and help people in the community when they're having possibly the worst day of their life. I'm extremely proud. I, I, I try to be a good example for the community. I don't think there's anything that sets us apart from anybody else. Uh, just a little bit of a desire to want to help other people. I, I like being a, a peer in the community. I like having the uh, children, giving them a positive role model. The other best part of being a firefighter is the camaraderie. Uh, with the people in my department. We're, uh, we're really close and uh, uh, they're a bunch of great people. I joined the fire company at a young age and, and I believe it helped me become a better person. It kept me out of trouble. Um, it, it gave me, allowed, afforded me the opportunity to go out and take training and to, to be in, involved in something that's bigger than myself. Our volunteer fire departments are essential to maintaining our community's safety. The well-being of thousands is placed into the hands of a select few of our neighbors who are dedicated to helping those in need. These heroes are compensated for their work, work that is often dangerous and unappreciated, with only the knowledge that they are making their communities better places. For your sacrifice, your courage, your commitment. Somerset Trust Company salutes you, our volunteer firefighters.